What's up guys, Vegas Original here, and this is my first tutorial video ever, so uh, bear with me. But today, I'm going to show you how to install one of the most notoriously difficult mods to install ever. Spears by Suli. Now, I know that it's notoriously complicated, like I said, but it's really quite doable. All you got to do is follow my simple steps, which I'm about to outline for you, so it's perfect. I'm going to be showing you how to install for Mod Organizer, so if you don't use Mod Organizer or like you don't want to get it, uh, you're feeling like, Mod Organizer, that's so complicated, it looks antiquated, uh, you know, I saw Gamer Poets do a video on it and it just looks really stupid and like a lot of text. Okay, I felt the exact same way, but when my Skyrim died, which happens every now and then because I like to mod my game a lot, I switched to Mod Organizer. And I will never go back because it has allowed me to mod my Skyrim so much more. Like, for example, I've got, uh, let's see, it looks like I, 239 mods installed right now and 129 ESPs. So, yeah, it's pretty amazing. Uh, highly recommend it. Okay, so technically to install Spears by Sulu, you don't have to have Mod Organizer, and you should be able to follow along even without Mod Organizer. But again, I just highly recommend it. Um, the only other things you'll need to have installed are the Skyrim script extender and FNIS. In case you don't have any of that installed, I'll leave links down below for tutorials on how to install Mod Organizer for Skyrim, uh, how to install FNIS, and how to install SKSE. So you should be all set there. Okay, let's get started. First thing you're going to want to do, obviously, is open up the Spears by Suli uh, page. And you're going to want to click Download Manually. And don't download with Manager. And it's the same thing with the PC exclusive animation path. You're going to also want to download that manually. And I have links for both of those down in the description. Uh, of course, like I mentioned earlier, uh, PCEA is going to want you to have FNIS installed. So make sure you've installed that if you haven't already. Now you can just drag your downloads to the desktop here and uh, extract your files into separate folders uh, and then you won't need the archives anymore. So just extract your files into separate folders and then you can delete all the archives. Perfect. All right. So next thing you're going to want to do is open up each folder and you're going to extract some files from PCAA into the Spears by Suli folder. In Spears, you're going to want to go to Meshes, Actor, Character, and in PCEA, you're going to want to go into Main01. Meshes, actor, character. Now make sure you don't take the HKX files, only take the HKT files. So you're going to want to highlight or control click default male HKT, default female HKT, characters female, characters, and behaviors. Uh, and just drag all of those right here into this character folder of Spheres by Suli, just like it says in the page instructions. Now you can close up these folders. You don't need PCA anymore, uh, so you can delete that as well. Then if you're using Mod Organizer or even Nexus Mod Manager, uh, you'll want to archive this Spears by Suli folder since we're done editing its contents. I'm just going to right click it and send to a compressed zip folder. Uh, we won't need the original folder anymore at that point, so I'll just delete it. So now you can go ahead and drag the zip file into the Mod Manager of your choice. And of course, I'm going to be doing this for Mod Organizer. Uh, and then you can go ahead and install it from your mod manager. So let's see here. I'm going to rename this uh, Spears by Suli. For mod organizer, I always like to do manual installation. Uh, and I'm going to set this as the data directory. If it says looks good in green here, you're all set to install it. The readme, uh, you might want to, well, uh, you know, read it. It's basically the same as what's on the website. And even though you're supposed to read the readme's, uh, you don't need to install them into your data folder with Mod Organizer. I like to hide mods from view uh, when I uh, have installed them already, just to keep track. Next thing you do is you make sure that the mod files are actually checkmarked. I like to keep these mods files right underneath all of my other animation mods, uh, but right before the patcher files from FNIS, since this mod is one of the things that FNIS will be patching. So that's why I keep it right there. Now you're ready for the next step, which is generating an FNIS patch. I'm going to delete my old patch first so I can make a new one, and then I'm going to go up here and generate FNIS through Mod Organizer. If you don't know how to set it up with Mod Organizer, the tutorial I linked will show you how to do that also. For Spears by Suli, the only thing you have to check here is this PC exclusive animation path. I'm also going to check TK Dodge and Archery Gameplay Overhaul since I have those installed, and you should check whatever other animation mods you have installed, uh, but strictly for Spears, the only thing you'll need to check is the PCAA box. 
Uh, then you're going to want to hit update FNIS behavior. And this can take a while, but don't exit the program until you see this. Yeah, that right there. Uh, mod organizer will now give you a warning telling you that you have files in your overwrite mod. Uh, you can find those down here. These are the files that it's added. And you're going to want to right click and click create mod. Always name this gen FNIS followed by whatever other animation mods I have installed um, that I generated uh, FNIS for. So check mark that and move it right under Spears by Suli. Now it's time to run the Spears by Suli patcher. If you haven't run the Spears by Suli patcher before, you're going to have to add it into mod organizer here. Just name it Spears by Suli patcher and where it says binary, click the ellipses, locate your mod organizer folder, uh, mods, Spears by Suli, Skyproc patchers, Spears by Suli, and Spears by Suli patch.jar. That's what you want to run. So open this, and now you just click add, and you have it installed into Mod Organizer. Mine says modify, just because I already have it installed, so I'm not going to save my changes. But save yours, and it should appear right here. Uh, but before you run this patcher, you'll have to uncheck some plugins from your load order. Uh, there are some plugins that don't get along with this patcher, and generally you'll learn which ones these are, either because the patcher will stop halfway through and tell you, um, you'll find it in the patcher's debug log, or you'll read about it on a forum. <laughs> Uh, if you've recently installed a handful of new mods and you try to run the patcher again, all of a sudden it doesn't work. That's another way to figure out that uh, a certain mod is causing problems. But for me personally, I know it's a handful of specific mods. So, of course, any mods that require those specific mods as master files, I'll also have to uncheck. Along with any mods that I've swapped masters for. So, I have some mods that require the unofficial Skyrim patch. But I use the unofficial Legendary Edition patch to reduce some of my ESPs. So, I had to use Test 5 Edit to swap those master files so my game would still run and not say, You're missing masters or whatever. Um, so... So uh, for those mods, Spears by Suli Patcher breaks because it's like, you're missing masters. Um, so I have to uncheck all of those two. So for me, the ones I have to uncheck are True Storms, uh, Climates of Tamriel, Weather Patch, Darkened, You Sleep, RDO's You Sleep Patch, Deadly Dragons, uh, Diverse Dragons, Deadly Dragons Patch, Fire and Ice Overhaul, Clean Up Your Corpses, the Clean Up Your Corpses Immersive Citizens Patch, and Unlimited Bookshelves. <sighs> Now you can finally run the Spears by Suli patcher. So, uh, let's see here. Now here is where I've seen many people mess up. And here's where I messed up for a really long time and I couldn't figure out why it didn't work. The mod page says when you run the patcher, just X out any windows that pop up. But that's not really the case. So I'll walk you through it here. So when you're ready, you'll want to click patch. Then here, you don't want to X this box out. You want to click yes. Then these next three boxes where it's looking for boss, you can X out. Now, are you, paying, you better be paying attention. This, this is important. Okay. Okay. Here's where I used to mess up every time. If you X out this box, the patcher doesn't work at all. And uh, the mod page doesn't say that. It just says X out everything. Here, you have to click yes, continue without boss, or it won't work. Okay. Uh, now, it'll sift through your mods, and if it gets stuck, you know there's a mod you need to uncheck, and you have to run it again. So that's kind of how you have to figure it out, unfortunately. It's kind of a pain sometimes. This can take a while, especially when it's adding masters, so just be patient. Uh, just like the Gen FNIS patcher, when it's done, you'll have some files in your overwrite mods folder. Make sure you have Spears by Suli patch ESP in the overwrite folder. If you don't see that, you haven't installed it correctly, and it's not going to work. Um, for example, if you X out the box I told you to click yes on, you won't have that ESP in there and it's not going to work. Um, so that's how you know it's not going to work. In that case, you have to delete all those files, highlight them, right click, delete, and then uh, run the patcher all over again. Uh, same thing if, you, uh, if, it, if the patcher stops halfway through because of some uh, mod incompatibility. You have to go back, uncheck that mod, and then delete all those files in the overwrite folder, and then you can run the patcher again. So just like before, we're going to create mod, and this time we're going to call it Spears by Suli Patch. And we're going to put this after Spears by Suli and after Gen FNIS, but before anything else. So right after those two things. So now that your patcher is done, uh, go back into your plugins and recheck all of the plugins that you previously unchecked. So go through and check those ones that you had to uncheck in order to run the patcher. You might want to write those down because you're going to have to uncheck those every time you run the patcher. And you're going to have to run the patcher basically every anytime you add a mod that edits animations or the leveled list. So um, in that case, you're going to want to know which mods you have to uncheck. So um, once you recheck those plugins that you previously unchecked, you're ready to run loot. 
If you want to be a serious Skyrim modder, you really have to use loot. It's free, it's a small program, and it's super effective. It's super effective! It'll sort your load order for you. Once again, this could take a while depending on how many mods you have, so for me, it's going to take a while. Uh, but I'll speed it up for you guys. Uh, then just click apply. Congratulations! At this point, you're ready to run Skyrim through SKSE. Uh, I just need to give my mod organizer permission because of the way I opened it, but you guys might not have to do this. And let's go in game and see if this works. So yeah, right away from this loading screen, you can see the mods working. Here I've loaded a save where I already have javelins and a steel spear um, in my inventory. You guys should be able to craft these items at a forge, buy them from blacksmiths, uh, or loot them off bodies. Another good way to see if this is working is to check some of the local guards. Usually some of them will be wearing them on their backs. Not going to break my word. So yeah, here we can see that the spear animations are working. Uh, mine are a little weird because of the archery gameplay overhaul, but that's just how that works. Uh, without that mod, the animations are smoother, and it looks like all can be equipped, dropped, picked back up again, playing the correct sounds. So perfect. We just installed Spears by Suli on a setup with over 200 other mods. Uh, so as you can see, it takes a little time, but it's very possible if you want to install it. I hope this tutorial helped you, uh, and if you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask in the comments. I'm happy to answer, answer all your questions in the comments. I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible. Uh, if you like this video, please be sure to check out some of my other content on my channel. Uh, I'm new to YouTube and I'm trying to grow this channel, see what users like, so let me know. If you enjoy my videos, be sure to subscribe, and happy modding. This has been Vegas Original, and I'll see you guys in the next video.